Hello everyone, this is Daniel here. And uh, for today's video, I wanted to do a comparison between uh, the two devices uh, running Batman Arkham Knight. We're gonna be using the PC test, aka benchmarking. Uh, quick thing before we get started, for any of you that are having issues trying to run the game on the One X player, don't worry, that's just an Intel problem. There is a way to fix it, I will link a file in the description all you're gonna have to do is drag that file into your main directory of the Batman game yeah uh, you're gonna have to go into uh, when you open if it's through Steam you're just gonna open up local files go to binaries and then it's uh, uh, we could actually just I could just show it to you right now so anyway so uh, you're gonna have to go right here open up the game manage you're gonna have to click uh, browse local file oops guess I have um, thick fingers bro okay um there you go so browse local files and it's gonna open up Batman Arkham Knight you're gonna go into binaries Windows 64 and you're gonna paste the file into here and that will make the game run. Don't know why it just doesn't run when you press run. I mean, it's Intel, what do you expect? Anyways, that's how to get the game started. Also, if the game's not launching for you, what you also can do is when you click on the settings, click manage, or sorry, properties, launch options, set it to dash windowed. That way the game is gonna launch windowed but then when you, you know, once you actually get into the game, you could put it to uh, windowed no border, which I'm assuming means uh, borderless, windowless, oh, sorry, window borderless, but uh, that's that, yeah. You know, I'm gonna crank this up to 90 on both devices, because let's see if, uh, what if it doesn't get hit 60, you know? Uh, these are the settings for the game though. this now for the INEO um, I had no issues I downloaded the game pressed play it was running which uh, very nice from AMD if only it would focus but anyways same thing here windowed borderless uh, we will be setting this to 90 as well uh, everything else is the same you might notice the video memory usage, it's green here, red there. I don't know why it's not finding all the video, the, the RAM on the One X player. It's finding it here perfectly fine, there it isn't. So uh, I will be pressing start on both these tests. And uh, you guys can enjoy. <clears throat> so the two devices, um, you will see a little bit different coloring. That's because the devices are calibrated a bit differently. Um, they have I don't know, different different manufacturers run different calibrations. The screens are both the same. Uh, one is just bigger, and I mean they're both ISP. That's, sorry about that, guys. I I'm still coming back from uh, a sick, but. They're both LCD screens. One is 8.2, one is a 7 inch screen. Uh, the One X player is not running this natively. The native resolution is uh, 2K on it. The INEO, on the other hand, is running it natively at 720p. So um, it might look a bit crisper on the INEO, or it might look the same. So far, it looks like both games are running it pretty well. And after uh, the benchmarking is done, we'll have a closer look up at the scores. 
The INEO is at default TDP, which is anywhere from 15 to 18. The 1X players, I think it's from like 20 to 23 by default. So let's take a look at this. Let's see what the score we got. All right, so we got 39 minimum, 87 maximum, average 60. I mean, 60 average, pretty good. All right, now for the Ionia, we got 31, 54, 41. So you did get worse performance. I mean, AMD does tend to get a little bit slight worse performance than Intel, but the compatibility is where it's at. Uh, we will pick this TDP up on the Ionia, 20 watts to see if we could try and uh, get this as close as possible. So, let's change that to, oops. All right, I changed that to 21. Thank you for to uh, Project SPC for that program. Still use it, still love it. Very nice program, well done. Anyways, um, <clears throat> we will run this test again. See um, how well it's gonna perform now. See if it gets close to it. You know, why not? Let's pick up the TDP on the One X player as well. So once you hit that turbo button on the One X player, automatically cranks the TDP up to 28 watts. Um, and uh, Obviously, it's going to boost performance even more. See what happens. Those are the fans of the One X player. I knew it was not that loud. The One X player is fairly loud, but it's comfortable. If you guys, you know, want a full Xbox controller in your hands feel, you get the One X player. Uh, games are a little more fun playing on it because of the. Especially racing games because of the analog triggers, they're really nice. And then shooters are nice too as well, I guess, because of the full full size controller joystick compared to the half size and the Ionia, which is something to uh, think about when you're thinking about purchasing one of these devices. All right, pre-order the Steam Deck, waiting on that. Uh, I guess hopefully it comes out soon. So this one is done already. Once we picked it up to 20 watt TDP minimum 35 maximum 59 average 43 so I mean it did go up a little bit but you know barely let's see what the see same thing with the one expire we kicked up the TDP to 28 watts and minimum 43, maximum 95, average 62. The average just went up by two frames. So honestly, keep it at default TDP. You get a better battery life. Your frames are still pretty good. And uh, that will be it for this video. As you can see, Intel is more powerful. AMD is more compatible. So if you're still deciding what device you want to purchase, it's all on, you know, it's basically, I mean, you, you like tweaking stuff. You like spending, you know, half an hour before every game just to get it to work. Get, you know, Intel. If you like to just, you know, press play, play the game, you get, you know, AMD. That's not the case for all the games, though. So, um, I mean, you could, you know, you can still get Intel and, and if your games are well optimized for it you know you could just it'll still run well for that but um yeah thanks again for watching guys if you do enjoy my videos 
please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos. And yeah, sorry, I'm just, uh, <laughs> like I said it before, I'm a little out of it. But hopefully I can start making some more videos. And anyways, have a good day.